Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, May 24th, and I am here with Mr. D, high school guidance counselor, as well as four amazing seniors who are going to reflect upon their experience at ASD and talk a bit about what's in store for them. So let's just go ahead. I'm going to ask you to introduce yourself, talk about how many years you've been at ASD, and what you're going to do next year. Hi, my name is Sylvia Figali. Um, I've been at ASD for, this is my 10th year. Next year I'll be attending the University of Texas at Austin and I'm going into urban studies. Hi, my name is Hiro Tarek Rana, the first of my name. Um, I'll be going, to, I've been here since grade 10 and I will be going to Cornell, Qatar and I'll be studying pre-med. Hi, my name is Tope Akinade. It is my seventh year at ASD. I'm going to Columbia University in New York, and I'm going to study biomedical engineering. Hello, my name is Giovanna Anderson. This is my third year at ASD, and next year I'll be studying English at the University of St. Andrews in Scotland. So today is the senior's final day of school officially. Next week is the exams, and they'll be graduating uh, in two weeks. Um, I guess one of the questions we have is we'd like you to reflect on your experiences here as a high school student and kind of tell us about some standout experiences that you've had uh, as a high school student at the American School of Doha. Okay, I don't know if you want me to speak about academic experiences, but um, I think community service has been one thing that's that's been a huge part of my life here at ASD, uh, particularly in the high school. We have a lot of awesome opportunities, and I've been lucky enough to go on a service trip to the Maldives and do whale shark research there, as well as build a house in Cambodia. And I think that that's been a huge part of what's built my character um, and just being able to take advantage of those kinds of amazing opportunities that ASD has to offer, it's, it's been huge. One of my best experiences at ASD was uh, uh, the ASD Talent Show, where I, um, for the first time, I, I, I tried to make a poem that appealed to a large audience, and having the uh, response I did helped me expand on that, um, that, that interest, and I've developed since, and having that sort of growth well, it appealed to me greatly, and I've learned a lot from that. I think that one of my highlights um, of my time at ASD has been music. Um, I've been a part of the musical productions, playing in the orchestra for the middle school and high school productions. Um, I've been a part of the ASD concert band, and I've been a part of the Doha Community Orchestra as well. So I think music has really been a significant part of my time at ASD, and I've really enjoyed being a part of the arts. Um, I think what I've really enjoyed a lot um, was the Empty Bowls events that our schools that our school has hosted um, this year and last year. Um, and what I liked about that was that um, I could pair my passion, um, along with all the other students who participated in that, we paired our passion for um, art with a cause in Mozambique. And so it was a combination of service and a celebration of the arts and a wonderful evening. So. One of the things we know is that there will be students at younger grades as well as their parents watching this podcast. And as you reach your senior year and you all are so accomplished and have such success stories in a sense in terms of your next academic steps, what would be some things that you would say you've learned about how to study, how to tackle challenging courses, um, what advice might you give to younger students about um, what you've learned and how to do this? I think one thing I've really learned, especially this year, is that uh, we often have more potential than we may believe. Um, throughout high school, I never, I mean, I took honors classes, I took an AP course my sophomore year, one my junior year, but I never really pushed myself as hard as I as I could and this year um, I took four AP classes and, I, and an IB course and it was it was difficult but I was able to uh, I was able to complete everything with as much success as I could ever hope 
Um, and that's not something that I'd ever really expected of myself in the past. So I think uh, one piece of advice that I would give is to definitely believe in yourself and push yourself because we have great opportunities here and we should definitely take them and take advantage of them. One thing I learned was that uh, even though if the workload might be enormous or if the challenges that you face in academics or anything else seem difficult, uh, usually having uh, an enthusiasm for the, uh, the things that you're going to do beforehand, uh, if, if you have an enthusiasm, you usually can tackle those challenges easily because, I mean, the effort doesn't seem like a chore any longer. It's, it's something that you'd want to do. And if you can expand on it and improve yourself through it, as I have, you'll find success quite easily. I think something that I've learned um, is kind of tr trying to figure out what's important. I know that a lot of times you have a lot of things on your plate and you're dealing with school, ac school, friends, music, all, t all types of things. And I think that when things get challenging and when things get really stressful, it's good to take time and reflect and filter out what's important to you and focus on what's important. Kind of going on what Sherry said, like stick to what your passions are. And if you follow through with that, then you'll find success. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, I would say, especially like at the start of high school or towards the end of middle school, um, really to try um, different things because we're offered so many unique opportunities in terms of, you know, like service, as Sylvia mentioned, music, arts, academics, just, I mean, we get to, we get the opportunity to do things that people in other schools don't, and it's really unique, and we have to take advantage of, of this, and, um, and, I mean, trying new things is how we discover what we really um, enjoy, so I would say try out a, a bunch of different things, and, um, and appreciate um, the fact that we're being offered so many unique things. Um, going off of what Jovi just said about trying new things, the sports that we have here at ASD, our, our sports programs, are so strong, and there are so many wonderful opportunities for everyone, um, and n everyone can be involved. It doesn't matter what your skill levels are um, through these teams, especially when you're first at the start of high school. You have so much potential to improve. It's 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 crazy how like how much. I've, how much growth I've seen in myself and in my teammates. Um, and I think that's definitely something that sh we should all take advantage of as well. You know what um, strikes me as I sit here and um, think about what you've said is that you've covered such a broad scope about what the school has offered you in talking about service and talking about the arts and talking about the academics and talking about athletics, as well as talking about the fact that there are activities where you can pursue your own passions. And that's, um, that's a pretty amazing statement um, to be able to say. I, I think it might be interesting as we think about um, concluding the conversation to for you to express any appreciation or thanks that you have to the school to the faculty I honestly don't know where I would start um, I to thank every every single one of my teachers um, and just for everything that I've been taught but not only the curriculum how 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 to handle the courses how to handle work um, and how to appreciate learning the way that I have um, I would really like to thank my coaches because without them I wouldn't know how to persevere the way that I have um I I used to think of myself more of as, as a quitter and since I've since I've joined like the cross country team the track team and been able to stick through it throughout the season and year after year I feel like I've really been been able to overcome that so thank you uh, one thing that I c I've come to appreciate here at SD was uh, the environment. Um, uh, I mean, for, for me, it's this library. I mean, that's one thing I'm going to miss uh, going, uh, leaving ASD. Uh, the library is where I meet people, where I discuss things, and I mean, it, it gives me an environment where learning is encouraged, but also gives me a place of belonging, and uh, that sort of interaction uh, you will find in other places. But I mean, it's not as easy as you can find. You won't find it as easily as you do here, I think, and. Well, it just gives you a, uh, a space where you can grow and sort of 
I didn't make an identity for yourself, but also uh, understand the identities of others and their ideas and what they have to say. Um, I think that there are so many people to thank. I mean, like, of course, I would like to thank all my teachers because they have put in so much effort into teaching all their students, teaching me, teaching, you know, just encouraging us to learn and to succeed. But I'd also like to thank the counselors for being there <laughs> when times are tough, helping us get into college. <laughs> um, I don't know. There are just so many people that are a part of this community, and I don't think it'd be the same without any, without, without any of them. Yeah, I think I agree with what everyone else said, and I'd like to thank um, the teachers and um, the staff and the Booster Club moms for <laughs> everything that they do um, and just everyone who makes um, ASD really the place that, that it is, this incredible community. And my parents. <laughs> yeah, uh, one thing I... Uh, uh, I mean, uh, everyone's thanks the teachers, but I mean, for me specifically, they helped me uh, realize that I had, I've had the ability to do things that wasn't previously. Like when I went to f uh, physics, I, I felt that I didn't know anything about it, but with the enthusiasm that the teachers brought, I was able to go through with it, and it, it's become my favorite thing since. So, I mean, the teachers uh, not only encourage you, but they like they inspire you, and I mean, that's not something that's easy to find. And having that ASD is it's, it's a huge benefit, without a doubt. So um, just in terms of uh, some things, just a quick snippet of uh, what you're looking forward to next year, um, can you just give us an indication of in three months' time when you're on a new campus, what are you looking forward to? Um, I think I'm looking forward to being in... Um, a culture that's technically my own, but that I haven't really um, gotten to experience much of, and being close to my grandparents. I think I'm most looking forward to being in a new place. I've been in Doha for seven years, and I think that it's kind of time for me to start something new, figure out like a new niche, and like just explore something different. Uh, three months time, I'll probably be, you know, dissecting people. <laughs> Actually, you're probably not dissecting people now that I think about it. But, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be busy. But I, I, what I find encouraging is uh, that I'll probably be learning things that are new to me and things that I actively enjoy. And so, and, and not only with that, but with other people that enjoy the th with the same sort of reverence that I do. And so, having that uh, sort of environment where I can, you know, expand and become who I wish to be. I mean, that's something I really that really excites excites me. And seeing that happen in three months, well. Yeah, that that prospect kind of you know inspires me. Um, like Jovi, I'm excited to rejoin a culture that's technically my own, but that I've been separated from for ten years. Um, but even more than that, I'm excited to be in a place where I can actually breathe and not feel particles in my lungs. So. <laughs> well, that. Um, thank you so much, and you know. We take very seriously the, the mission and the vision of the school and what you have said. I mean, in a sense, our mission is you are our end result. You are what we do everything for. And when you say that the faculty inspire you, that's, that's our aim, to inspire and empower. And when we talk about intellectual and personal development, that's what you've talked about. And when we talk about positive, active, global citizens, you represent that. So it's as though you are a, um, an embodiment of that which is our mission and vision, that's which we strive for, and I'm sure everyone can agree. We feel very proud of you, um, and we know that we could have selected for other students or um, others past that, and we would feel the same. So congratulations. Yeah. And that's Sahifa this week. Well, that. Um, thank you so much. And, you know, we take very seriously the, the mission and the vision of the school. And what you have said, I mean, in a sense, our mission is you are our end result. You are what we do everything for. And when you say that the faculty inspire you, that's, 
that's our aim to inspire and empower. And when we talk about intellectual and personal development, that's what you've talked about. And when we talk about positive, active global citizens, you represent that. So it's as though you are a, um, an embodiment of that, which is our mission and vision. That's which we strive for. And I'm sure everyone can agree. We feel very proud of you. Um, and we know that we could have selected for other students or um, others past that, and we would feel the same. So congratulations. Yeah. And that's Sahifa this week. <laughs>